Hello, everybody. Welcome to YN. I am your host, Mr. A. A. Ron. It's time for another Honest Trailer, and this one is for Ghost Rider 1 and 2. Um, I own both of those movies, right up there. And, uh, yeah, I, I enjoy the first one. Um, I know both movies aren't really that great, uh, but I enjoy the first one uh, to an extent. Um, and the second one is just kind of meh for me. That being said, it does have like some cool uh, moments. Uh, but that's basically my review of those two. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's get on with the Honest trailer. I would uh, I would try to do this in a Nick Cage voice, but I kind of can't. Because um, it's... Uh... Oh, it's iconic! I see, I can't do it. <laughs> Surprised they haven't done this yet. From Marvel, back in their try-hard phase. Yep. The filmmaker responsible for some of the best bad moments in superhero cinema. <laughs> yep. The guys who cranked out some of the dumbest fun movies since they cranked out both cranks. I gotta watch Crank. And the screenwriting equivalent of Herpes comes two films that feel like going on a 48-hour coke bender with Nick Cage. And by that I mean they're a bad idea, but still pretty fun. <laughs> I can feel him. Ghost Rider and Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Only one man is uniquely qualified to be the Ghost Rider. Nick Cage, cause this actor's already been an outcast who melts his face off like a wicker man trapped between worlds. This army of one will drive angry, seeking justice when it gets dark. He'll kick ass with his kill chains as a prisoner of the ghost land, cause this lord of war is running with the devil and he's got a score to settle. Holy crap, he makes a lot of movies. That it's was so good! What a pig. Or a national treasure, depending on how you look at it. That's so good! <laughs> Johnny Blaze in Ghost Rider 1. He's a stuntman who's more hot rod than Evil Knievel. <laughs> but when his dad has a light cough, aka movie speak for dying <laughs> cancer, cancer. <laughs> he'll make a deal with the devil to prolong his life for about one afternoon. Yep. Stricken with grief, teenage Johnny will ghost his sweetheart, leaving her to grow into a reporter with a 10-year age difference, and now must become the Ghost Rider, a demon with the powers of riding a motorcycle, which she could already do, <laughs> and scaring people to death with eye contact, which, which he already, he already, already, already do. do. <laughs> ah. Follow up the campy original with an edgelord reboot in Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, where they change his look, supporting cast, and origin story, because... Just shut up and embrace the chaos, okay? Yeah. Fire piss. In the first one, he made a deal with the devil. Now, in the follow-up, he'll have an even worse idea and make a deal with a priest to bring him a young boy. We lost the boy. Uh, mm. In the sequel that abandons all restraint and just gives the people what they want, a skull monster barfing fire bullets into a goon's face. Full of high octane visuals that almost overcome the moment when the f***ing Ghost Rider scolded you for pirating movies. You did something you wouldn't want the writer to see. A white lie, an illegal download. You wouldn't download a crane. Oh, wait, you would. <laughs> that was awesome. Speed through two early comic book films that would be pretty forgettable if it weren't for the cage of it all. As Nick brings a grab bag of random quirks to Johnny Blaze, like an Elvis accent that disappears after the first film. You know, I watch a lot of TV and you do a really good job. Only drinking straight from the container. <laughs> the music. <laughs> Unless it's jelly beans, in which case, martini glass. While off camera, he was bringing the weird by doing his own makeup, sewing totems into the lining of his jacket. And then I would sew in bits of uh, Egyptian artifacts that were thousands of years old into my costume. And just generally freaking out at all times for our entertainment. No conscience. Just hunger. If you want to pull that trigger, <laughs> do it. Ah! 
Scraping at the door. Scraping at the door. Okay, <laughs> won't rage alone. There's a whole cast carefully selected by the directors for their authentic Europeanness. I mean, like all Europeans, they just they have an accent, right? It's over there in the Europe. Place. It's the wrong. Like Idris Oh Elba my God! A <laughs> French priest, so stereotypical. We were gonna make a joke like, "Ho oh, ho ho! I love it to drink so wine." But that's more or less his actual dialogue. <laughs> I forgot he was French. Narrator from the Big Lebowski, doing the kind of authentic portrayal of the American West that he stands for. Jane Campion could never. Rebel Wilson? Huh, that's random. A that was Rebel Wilson? Three videos worth of Mephisto's. Played by one actor who has to be in this movie because his deal with the devil was up. And one actor who has to be in this movie for his deal with the devil to get started. Plus, a new metal band's worth of unthreatening pale demon boys. Look out, Ghost Rider. It's Puddle Guy. White Dreadlocks. Rockabilly Twilight. <laughs> and the personification of Mold. So return to the bad old times of 2000s comic book movies before Iron Man made them cool. And no one prestiged the shit out of everything. <laughs> you know, real fans know these are some of the most true to comics films ever made. Not because they're accurate, because they're loud, fun, and barely make sense. Yep. Comics are mostly dumb. That's why we love them. Yep. My name is Legion. <laughs> for we, we are, are many. <laughs> Starring Daredevil. What? It makes more sense for him than a blind lawyer. Blazing Saddles. Girls Want Eva. Low Gang. Soul Man. Demonic and Knuckles. The Conning. <laughs> the Devil Made Me Do It. With him. Hellboy. <laughs> K Hole. Dendbledore. Prayden. And the least realistic parts in a movie with a flaming skull demon biker. I think I should walk into your car. You're pretty and all. Why don't you just go back to wherever it is you came from? You think I'm pretty, right? <laughs> Spawn in 60 seconds. Okay, why does Roxanne bring a magic eight ball on a date? Will I be in the sequel? Outlook, not good. <laughs> Please try Get again. name out of your beeping mouth. Oh, God. I'm strong to the finish because I eats me spinach. Drop a baby buggy bumpers. You got to say rubber baby buggy bumpers in all of Schwarzenegger's voice, all right? Honest Trailers is filmed in front of a live studio audience. You know what? The biggest thing I took away from that, and the thing that made me probably laugh the hardest, was just naming all the Nick Cage movies. I thought that was brilliant, and it was so good. Um, but I completely forgot that Idris Elba's character was French. I was like, oh yeah, he was French. Why did they make him French? <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was so good. Um, that was the oddest trailer for Ghost Rider 1 and 2. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about the movie. Um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to YN. And I will see you all in the next movie. <laughs> he was French. Why was he French?